just going to do a simple from one color to another color change. So again, make sure you've got a nice decent length of a tail. Just put it on to a hook like that. If you're more comfortable you can, with it, you can um, use a slip knot, but I would suggest eventually getting off that because otherwise you've just got little hard bumps where your color changes are. Um, but it's totally fine if you're more comfortable that way. But otherwise, just um, keeping it nice and firm in your fingers like that. Just tighten this one on there. Now you've got the, um, the new color onto your hook. Okay, and then grab your working end. Um, just keep that nice and firmly down. Okay, because you don't want it slipping out. Okay, then just go and now you're going to do slip stitch right like that so now you've got your new color for this next block like so and then do again just the normal chain three and three double crochets into that space Okay. And then again for the fourth and final one for this row, I'm gonna just slip stitch, chain three, and just work that in there like that. Okay, and now once you've got that done. Um, then you can just take your scissors and leaving a nice tail cut free. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also subscribe to my Patreon page if you'd like to receive exclusive benefits. Links are in the description down below. If you'd like to watch more crochet lessons, you can do so by clicking on this playlist right here. Hope you enjoyed.